Hello, Sharon. How are you? Sharon, you're just, you're just hanging out in there, my girl. So this shed keeps everything super toasty, even during those crazy winter nights that we were having. I know we don't have crazy extreme winter nights like the rest of you folk up north, but down here, it's critical for our animals. A couple of my animals passed away, so that's serious, okay? So we got things, heat lights and bins all set up in here. Everybody's on heat and stuff. And my dude, Butters, he's on the other side, sleeping. Let me see if you can see him. Hey, my dude. Hey there, little guy. Okay, I'm not gonna take him out right now because I don't want to just get him all crazy and riled up. But look how, look how beautiful this animal is, dude. He is so freaking cool. You smelling my fingers, dude? Well, yeah, right now he's just in this little 40 breeder out here set up very temporary just to uh, get him warmed up a little. but i do not want him in that tiny little cage because he's a very very loved animal already and he's yeah he's just so awesome they're fast as crap too so while i'm starting this whole training thing and getting him used to me you know i don't want him jumping out on the floor of that shed and god forbid escaping and getting away from me because they are fast as crap okay so i just want to keep everything on the safe side so a lot of you have seen before i moved this cage that i had out there and then i have another one over here look see right there okay so that's josh's cage right there and then this one right here i'm gonna set up for butters whole reason why is because you know this i can actually just close the garage door make him come out of his cage for food and all that other stuff eventually this is plenty big if not even a little bit on the too big side for the size that he is right now it's it's honestly perfect it's the perfect size for the size he is right now but he's gonna put on weight and grow fast especially being in here i feed that guy all the freaking time okay so probably in the next i don't know maybe less than six months okay when he gets some size on him this whole area right here obviously i'm going to clean all that crap out of my garage but in this area right here i'm going to put like a little tiny pond make a platform make it super cool make it as high as that cage is pretty much enclose this whole part maybe even come out a little bit so i can literally just open up the door walk inside and do my thing with him in there and eventually move it all outdoors. I don't just go make this crazy, gigantic, elaborate enclosure for something so small. We put them, you know, you gotta go up sizes, okay? You don't just start wearing huge shoes right off the rip. You know, you gotta, you gotta start small and you go up. Same thing with, you know, your enclosures. You don't wanna put tiny little snakes into these gigantic cages or little tiny lizards in these huge mansion cages right off the bat because it's just way too overwhelming for them. And then it's too big, they can't find their food. Just all sorts of all sorts of no-nos that you don't want to do. This thing is pretty much ready to go. We already have the heat pad in here. And Tyson was in this cage, all right? I'm just gonna take everything out. We're gonna clean everything out, put new mulch in here. This little platform thing, I think I'm gonna move to the other side or wrap that in. See, I got a bunch of AstroTurf right here. So maybe we're gonna throw some AstroTurf on this. These branches look like they're pretty good. I'm just gonna add some heat lights up top and then we're gonna see how Butters likes this cage. This little guy I picked up today from Tractor Supply. I have those gigantic ones, which I'll put in here eventually, but this one is like the perfect size for it's not too big and bulky. So every day, you know, every other day, these guys just poop in their water bowls. This one's not as pain in the butt to take out, empty out right over there and just fill up with my hose on the side of the house. So let's uh, let's get this out of here, get this situated, wrap this with some uh, AstroTurf. love wrapping stands in AstroTurf. It looks so good. Like, for real, guys. Pretty freaking awesome. Also very comfortable for your reptile. I am excited. I've been wanting to do this for a minute now. And the bigger he gets, the cooler he's gonna get. Uh, that looks awesome. Hell yeah. Something about wrapping stuff in this is just way too satisfying. Woo, check this thing out. All right, looks good. So I redid this grapevine, better position. Heat pad is under the hide box. 
some fresh H2O. This thing is good to go, baby. Go get this little dude. Getting my dive stuff ready too. Finally going diving. Oh, it's been months, literally. Life's been so crazy lately. Moving, the baby, the, ev the everything. It's just been, it's been nuts, but taking some, uh, I don't even think I'm gonna make a video. I might just bring my camera just so I don't see anything crazy and miss it. But uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna, I need a nice dive to myself and the boys. De-stress, relax. There we go, dude. He was just being crazy for a second when I was trying to take him out. Relax, guy. It's all right. You're doing good. But yeah, see, it's dangerous though. Him jumping off or anything like that. Gotta be real careful. What was that noise for? Holy crap, his nails are so stinking sharp. My other hand is laced up already. But look how cool this guy is. What a beautiful freaking animal, right? So stinking cool. It's beautiful outside right now, too. This is what I love. My favorite time of the day. Golden hour, baby. I'm gonna hang out with my dude. Look at that. Let's take a nice, let's get a nice good shot. Look at that thing. Get him in his new enclosure. The lights, obviously the sun is going down right now, so his lights I'm not even gonna worry about setting up until the morning, but I'm gonna give him a nice big UVB light in here and then a big heat for that basking spot. Let's see how he likes it though. Check this out, dude. Look at this. Look at that water. Look at that water. You see that? Ooh, look at that, dude. Check it out. Hell yeah. Look at this. Check that out, man. Look at that. Now look at the size of him in there right now compared to the cage. Perfect size, honestly. He looks, you look like you have a palace, sir. Very, very cool. I love it because he still has the best of both worlds. He gets to look outside the window like he's outside. And he's really inside. So I can close the garage, not worry about him jumping off of me like I just was. Even walking him from the shed on the other side of the building to walking over here. And, you know, I'm a nervous wreck. You know, I don't want him to like jump off or try to bite me and then I drop him or, you know, whatever. You know, all sorts of things could happen. Paranoia to the max when you have such an awesome animal like that. And they're fast as crap. The thing gets on the ground. See you later. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed Butter's new little setup. It's a new old cage you know what i mean redid an old cage looks great got a lot of things to do on the property we're getting there guys step by step video by video i gotta go to work here i think on saturday i've been off a lot lately man every every little reschedule and whatever i've been having going on lately instead of just rebooking people i've been just you know getting things done here you know it's a lot of work and only I can really get it all done. So I appreciate everybody who has emailed me about trying to come over and help and whatever it is, whatever services you guys offer. Trust me, I will get back with you guys ASAP. I have so many things going on right now and I'm only one person. Hopefully soon Gianna's gonna have a little bit more free time when the baby's, you know, getting a little bit more on the independent side. You know, the newborn stage is over. So, uh, appreciate you guys. Love you. Tylenol and tattoos for all of your merch. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed. If you watch this channel regularly and you watch it until this entirety to the end of the video, please go hit that subscribe button. All right. Appreciate you guys. Love you. Later. God bless. Bye.